microphones. First question for Aaron. Ken on the right. Aaron, no uh, John Carl in, in the starting lineup. What is uh, his status update? And in that, what, how'd you decide on Hicks? <clears throat> um, kind of was leaning that way last night, and then this morning kind of settled on it. So I kind of called G in right when he got here and just said we're going to stay away today. Um, he's going to get around there out outside and move around a little bit more today. Um, feel like he would be a, a hitter off the bench option today. Um, and then we'll kind of see where we are again moving forward kind of day by day here. But do feel like he's better, and we'll see how some of his work is today. Stay on the right, Andy. I know it's day-to-day -day with him, but are you optimistic that he could play the outfield again this postseason? Yeah, I'm optimistic. But, I mean, again, we'll have to, we'll have to see. It, it's, you know, at least a little bit of an unknown and something that we're kind of working through day by day. And, um try and make good medical evaluation strength, see how he's doing out there. Um, you know, try and have real frank conversations with G as well and um, try and then hopefully make the best decision. Down the front, Bruce. So what do you expect from Hicks? Um, couple homers walk no um feel like physically he's he's in a good spot and he's doing well and moving well um feels good um obviously a really good player for us um you know the big question mark is he he hasn't played in a couple months so that's the challenge feel good good about the fact that he got in there in game two um felt like he had a really good at bat very Aaron Hicks like it back where he's taking pitches with ease, um, hit the ball hard, um, and feel like Aaron likes this stage, likes the the more important it is. Um, usually he's 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 better off for that. Um, so my expectation, you know, he's hitting at the bottom of the order for us tonight. Expect him to go out and play a good center field and and hopefully give the, you know, the, the good thing about Aaron is. Usually, whether he's going well or not, usually he's a tough at bat and uh, like that at the bottom of our order. Okay, we're going to stay over there on the right. Aaron, obviously you guys have leaned on the bullpen heavily this playoff uh, during the playoffs. What's your level of concern that the longer the series wears on that Houston hitters might become a little bit more familiar with what they're seeing from your relievers? Um, well, we know Houston has a really good offense, so they're a challenge. Um, but we also have a lot of confidence in our guys and know that, um, you know, if they're in, out there in positions to be successful, if they execute, have a ton of confidence in them, uh, you know, no, no matter how deep this series goes. So, um, no, it's a tough matchup, but a ton of confidence in our guys. The far right, Bob. Aaron, last night did you uh, watch uh, the game with your dad, and what's that like exchanging information with him? Um, I did watch it with him, quite a bit of it. Um, it was reserved. <laughs> I was like, man, I can't have too good of a conversation with him right now. Um, no, so we, you know, it's one of my son's birthday, so we had, you know, dinner and cake and um sat around and watched the game a little bit and um we didn't talk a lot about it but just you know Strasburg was obviously you know, on top of things last night so um it was kind of quiet over the right Tyler Aaron in that in that uh Washington series obviously they're getting a lot from their starters and Houston tends to do that too you of course take a different approach what makes your approach uh, work for you um, compared to the way some other teams have been handling it in terms of getting more from your bullpen right. less from your starter? Well, I mean, it's, you know, I think one of the strengths of our club is is the depth of our bullpen. And, um, you know, we probably rely on, you know, the 12, 13 pitchers of, that we have more so than most teams that are tend to be a little more top-heavy. 
um, you know, we're, we're going to lean on most all our guys. Um, you know, that said, we also have, you know, starters, Seve included going today that are capable of going and matching other teams, elite pitchers. So, um, I would just say, feel like our depth of staff, um, is one of our strengths. The far right, Joel. Aaron, over your two years here, when you've had a struggling, talented player during the regular season, you've seen the big picture and stuck with it almost always to the positive. Mm -hmm. I wonder how you weigh that if someone is struggling this time of year when the season is so short. I'm thinking maybe Incarnacion is suddenly not hitting and really Adovino has had some problems. Guys, I'm sure you would stick with just if it was May or June. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first with Edwin, I don't really see that. I mean, I, I look at, you know... He got pitched tough for two games, and um, but as far as Edwin goes, and you know his ability to change a game and and throw up a tough at bat, um, my confidence hasn't wavered at all. And um, you know this time of year, you're going to face obviously great pitchers that so much is poured into every single pitch that you're going to have a hiccup here and there along the way. That's part of it, but my confidence hasn't wavered at all for as for Otto, you know, if we're going to go deep in this, he's, he's going to play a big role in that. You know, there's some spots in, in this lineup where he's going to have to get big outs and have the confidence that he has all the weapons to do that. Um, and even, you know, looking back at game two, you know, he made a first pitch of the inning mistake that, you know, didn't get hit for a hit. It got, left the ballpark and you know you look at his body of work right after that it was a tough part of the lineup that he you know got strikeouts weak contact and did his job so um feel like he's still gonna play a huge role in us uh getting deep into this over here on the left anthony aaron uh the forecast being what it is for tomorrow do you spend time preparing for a rain out or is that something that you just wait until it happens in terms of pitching and other things that might be affected <laughs> not dinner plans <laughs> um i mean a little bit you know obviously that that if if that were to happen um <clears throat> you know that changes some things moving forward um as far as our rotation potentially m moving guys up um <clears throat> but i don't think it changes much about today i mean we're we're gonna see where our you know relievers are and what we feel like we have um, available with them going into a game like today, and you know we're going to go and pour everything in we can to to win in a ball game, knowing that you know obviously tomorrow doesn't look good, but if it did look good, I don't think it necessarily changes the approach. Down here on the right, Barry. Hey, Aaron. Uh, with all the manipulation you've had to do with the team this year because of all the injuries, plus what you just spoke about with how you've dealt with the pitching staff. What's your reaction when your name comes up as manager of the year in the American League? I mean, um, we're like entrenched in the Houston Astros and the ALCS right now. So that's, that's flattering and all, but um, that's, that's more a product of, of what our team's done and what our organization's done. Um, but I'm kind of consumed with this and, and hopefully going out and, and getting one today. Okay, we'll take a couple more in the back, middle. Right here, Aaron. Your team is back home for the next three games. Obviously, your team has flourished here in the regular season. How much does that benefit them to be back on their home turf for the next three? Um, we love playing here. Our guys are comfortable here, obviously, are confident here. You know, I'd say we're confident wherever we play, though. Um, so we always like coming ho home here knowing that um, we feel like we have a home field advantage, certainly playing here. Uh, we know our fans are are going to be special and um, hopefully allow us to have even a little bit more of an advantage with, with the energy that they bring. Um, so I think our guys are excited to get home and, and play in such a big time a matchup uh, in the Bronx and Yankee Stadium, baby. Doesn't beat that. On the right in the middle. 
It's obviously uh, two elite pitchers going today, but are runs going to be at even more of a premium given the start time and the weird shadows that can pop up? I mean, yeah, it makes it potentially more of a challenge, no question. Um, so you combine, you know, obviously a couple couple great pitchers and, and that time of day, but, you know, still, you know, all of a sudden you get a couple guys out there and somebody takes advantage of a mistake and, um, you know, just when you think you got a game pictured in your mind, it, it can it can get altered a little bit, especially when you're talking about uh, two really good offenses as well. But it, it certainly presents a challenge. Thank you, Aaron. All right. Tommy Canley, Chad 